But first, Alan's daughter, Chrisanna, who was just eight years old when her father was killed, says she believes the right two men are behind bars. This is her first time speaking out about what happened to her father. The best thing about my dad is that he was an incredible father. We would stay up late watching our TV shows, sharing a bowl of Apple Jack. He would take me to the gym with him when he would work out and go for rides around in the vehicle for hours. My father was 25 when he was killed. He was only a police officer with Waverly Police Department about two months before he was shot. My dad was trying to get a drug task force together to try and fight the crime on drugs. From the research I've done and from the details from the case, my father was in the process of trying to arrest Terrence and Perron when he was shot. There was an altercation and my father was shot with his own service weapon by them. There's no doubt in my mind that the two men that are guilty are Terrence and Perron. Most people would say being sentenced to life for drug charges is extreme but they were sentenced to life in prison for everything that took place while their drug deal was going on. The shooting my father, killing him. I don't see any point in this case being brought up again. All of the evidence was there in the beginning and it's there now pointing towards Terrence and from. So everyone has forgot that my dad was the victim in all of this. He was the one whose life was taken away. Terrence and Brown aren't the victims. Well, Chrisanna, this clearly uh, is a, a, a terrible loss, and I, I, I'm very, very, very sorry for that. And uh, everyone has not lost sight of the fact that your father uh, is a victim here. I, I certainly have not. You've not spoken out about this before. Tell me why not. For a long time, I just, I didn't really know what to say because when I did try to talk about it when I was younger, I was told that, you know, I needed to just let it go or I needed to get over it, so. Your father is someone that you've never forgotten and you very much keep him alive uh, in in your mind and and your, your thoughts and, uh, you know, these are some of the things that uh, kind of memorialize him in your memory, right? You keep yes. these things near and dear to your heart. I do. And his glasses, his badge and name tag, and this is, is a medal. This is a sample of his favorite uh, cologne. That's and, the last bottle that he ever bought of it. Yeah. And, um, and you, you keep these things you know, prominent in your home, mm -hmm, your I life, do. so you don't forget him at all. Exactly. You keep him very much alive. And I'm, I'm glad that you do. That helps, doesn't it? It does. You've heard some of the argument that the people in jail aren't the ones that did this, but you think they are. Why do you reject the arguments that they're not? I was present through you know, the trials and everything. I was there for all of it. Um, and I remember a lot of that. And then as an adult, I have spoke with um, the authorities that were over the case and worked the case and everything. And they, you know, gave me information, everything from then to go over. And I feel that, you know, they did their job correctly. And I haven't seen anything that's made me feel otherwise. And I just, I just feel in my heart that they are the right ones. When they were arrested and charged with with killing your father, uh, they both took a plea deal. And when they took a plea deal, that meant to you they wouldn't take a plea, they wouldn't plead for something they didn't do, yeah. right? I don't know why they would take it um, mm -hmm. if they didn't have something to do with it, I would have. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.